Okay, we're almost at the end of the core functionality. Let us focus then on what happens whenever we get to the end of a round. We present the user with the play again button. What happens when they click it? We'll want to clean out essentially and restock everything. Grab new songs, uh, refresh what whatever the state of it, the, uh, the application is. So let's go ahead and um, begin that process here. So the first thing I know that I want to do is uh, we're going to hit, uh, let's see, the play again button click event. So what I want to do here is we, we kind of set ourselves up for preparing a new game by creating a helper method that would do this. So we're going to add the await keyword in front of prepare new game and then I'm going to make this an async uh, method. And then uh, I want to take that play again visibility uh, button visibility uh, equal to visibility dot collapsed so now it all really comes down to whatever we do in the prepare new game uh, we've already cleared out the songs we've already picked new random songs we've ever already um, populated the song list we're, we're I think we're good to go there right yeah, yeah, good. Okay, so now the only thing I think we need to do is to um, start the cooldown process. So start cooldown. Um, and I want to fix whatever's in the, the current, all those text blocks, right? So instruction text block dot text equals get ready dot dot dot. And then the result text block, I want to set its text equal to an empty string. Title, text block, text, empty string. Artist, text block, dot text equals an empty string. And album, text block, dot text equals an empty string. Uh, also, I want to set the total score equal to zero. And I want to set the round to zero. And that should take care of that scenario. All right, is there anything else that I can think of that I need to do? Uh, ideally, I would come back through here and I would split all of this code up into a bunch of little helper methods and use this kind of as a controller of sorts that organize and orchestrates the various events, but I'm, I'm going to leave it the way that it is here, just long passages of code, at least for now. And I think we're pretty much done. So I'm going to run through a, a round and play this um, and test it. And I'm going to pretty much pause the recording of the video or just cut out a lot of this so that you don't have to watch me play for five whole rounds. And, but when we get to the end with the play, ground, play again round, all right, uh, when we get to that point, then I will um, unpause and we can see what happens uh, to reset the game. All right, so I hit the end. I actually got three out of five right, uh, with a total score of 80. And I'm going to go ahead now and hit play again. And it reset everything. Let's just watch it play to make sure that everything got zeroed out. It looks good. All right, anyway, right, let's go ahead and quit. Okay, so I feel good about that. The next step for us now is to add in some new functionality where we can actually try to monetize this game. So we'll start that in the next lesson. Thanks.